good, very early morning. It is 25 past four in my kitchen. We're about to go to the Nürburgring. My ride is literally just arriving. I can't wait, let's go. And we have arrived at the Linda Hotel. This time it's the Linda opposite to the circuit. You can hear the cars out on track already. Uh, we're here on the Thursday. I'm doing my VLN license today, my permit B license. So we're going to go head over to the training centre uh, in about an hour or so's time uh, to do a bit of theory. We're going to walk the track tonight and then we've got our practical exam tomorrow. So I'm going to hopefully document and walk you through everything that there is to know about uh, gaining your VLN license uh, in 2018 and beyond, hopefully. So um, yeah, uh, let's head over to the um, driving academy now, get all signed on and uh, go do some classroom learning in German, I think. So this should be quite interesting. Good morning from a very cold and very frosty Nürburgring. You can see the two orange steeds behind us are our training vehicles for today. Uh, supplied by uh, Jacko's Paddock. Uh, been very, very helpful so far, especially with all the admin side yesterday. Um, that's the bit I was most worried about. Looks to be a beautiful day. Um, it's going to warm up a lot. Um, so now yeah, I think we've lucked into the weather here. And it's going to be a mega day. So can't wait to get out first from eight till nine. Uh, by ourselves to just do some training laps and then we'll be out with the, uh, the full VLN test grid uh, from 9 so onwards. So it's going to be a good training, day. Uh, you'll Go. see just on the left hand side here a double wave yellow. So part of our training was that we did three laps in the morning before any VLN traffic was out. So it was just three of us on the circuit, uh, which is fantastic. Myself and Andy follow the instructor car. It was useful to know which way the circuit goes and obviously learn the line of the instructor car as well. Uh, and within that we can then also um, practice a code 120 demonstration. So you'll see at the very beginning there there's a double wave yellow flag and then there's another wave yellow flag just on the eight, double wave yellow flag on the eight the left hand in the back there. Uh, limiting us to 120 knots an hour, as you can see we're being a little bit cautious here. Uh, and then just before we come up to uh, this right hand here, there's a code 60 board out on the left hand side here. Uh, and there's a safety vehicle out on the circuit cones and obviously those guys demonstrating that um, an instant, a mock instant is being cleaned up and hence why we needed the yellow flag. We then had to hold our code 60 procedure. Uh, you might be able to spot just on the top left hand side, just behind the white board, uh, there's a green flag waving but you can't, can't actually go until the, you pass the flag. So three, two, one, now we can actually start to accelerate again straight into the carousel. Uh, so yeah, that was a, a really ideal way to just practice the little unique rules that the uh, Nürburgring has and just a unique demonstration uh, where we didn't have any hassle. So yeah, uh, kudos to the team for a, a good idea. We then actually joined the BLM practice session. So again, we did three more laps following the instructors, but this time with um, VLM traffic out, as you can see, just a Grand Prix section here. We've had a couple of cars coming past, Man Manto Course GT3 car, and then the GT3 Cup car as well. So again, it's just practicing managing the traffic um, in a very controlled environment. Passing the test. So we have just completed our eight sighted laps with the instructor and it wasn't actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, so the VLN test day is not as crowded as I thought it was going to be. It's not as crowded as the race but it looks as hard to things. So um, it was easy to get our eye in and it was a good introduction without being absolutely bombarded. The GT3 cars do one and a half come up quickly uh, but as long as you've always got one eye in the mirror and signal early I think it's pretty clear cut 
uh, how to do things. So yeah, we've now got eight laps just by ourselves, uh, and then we will report back at the end of the uh, end of the afternoon, basically. So me and Andy are going to go for a quick hack around. Hopefully, we can learn something off of each other, and then uh, then go from there. Good start to the morning. And that is license test complete. We've done our eight laps. Uh, all four wheels are on both cars still. Me and Andy have had no real dramas, no issues. So um, we're going to go head back, um, sign all the paperwork, and then yeah, we'll be hopefully good to race for tomorrow. Um, bit of drama in the final uh, final lap there. Almost ran out of fuel. I didn't want to pit and then have to put fuel in it and then uh, go out again for my final lap. So I just nursed it round and. About this point here on the circuit, the pit entrance is literally just there. Um, I had about one kilometre of fuel left in the car, but yeah, I managed to coast it back and get away with it. So uh, um, yeah, very excited, awesome day. Uh, absolutely buzzing for tomorrow, can't wait. So yeah, we'll head up to the office and uh, get our license. These have been our chariots for the day, 325E90 BMWs. So just production car spec pretty much. Uh, all gutted on the inside, H pattern box, still got ABS, we turn all the traction control and a, um, uh, stability control off, got the race logic uh, B box light system in there as well, it's about 225 brake horsepower or so, probably 1100 kilos. Today we've been just on road tyres, batting round on those because it doesn't, we don't really need anything more than we've had so um, yeah it's been a good learning car I must admit just to learn the circuit and just get used to the traffic I wouldn't want to have been in anything faster um, so yeah it's a good it's been a good day Nurburgring VLN permit B done. Um, been a great introduction to the ring, racing on the ring, and uh, really eye opening. I think the level of competition is very high, and the circuit is very complex, and the rules quite unique. But this course covers all of those bases uh, very, very well. So it yeah, we looked up, looked after really, really well actually by the Nurburgring Academy, and so I want to really thank them for uh, all their hospitality and all of the big effort they put into making sure that we got through uh, and got through in, in, a, in, um, in a pleasurable way and all the experience that the instructors have given us to us given to us uh, ready for our first race tomorrow so um, yeah I hope this uh, very basic walkthrough and tutorial certainly of my experience has been useful um, yeah let me know if you're gonna looking to race in the VLN uh, and if this guide has been useful uh, and any other questions that you may have uh, hopefully I can answer them uh, as I've been through it all now. Uh, but yeah, now we're going to shower, get some food, hit the hay pretty early uh, as we're up very early for VLN2 tomorrow, which is uh, really, really looking forward to now. Can't wait. Um, so yeah, make sure you check out that vlog, check out that race, uh, and uh, follow me for the rest of the season. Uh, make sure you like this video, uh, comment on any uh, suggestions you have below, and uh, make sure you subscribe for much more racing content to come, especially around the Nervic Green. Ciao, ciao.